Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. get to Pasadena where we continue to follow breaking news for you this morning. Earlier, we told you about the search for a man after a woman was found dead inside of an apartment complex in Pasadena. Our Sabira Rayford is live at that scene gathering new details and Sabira, you just spoke with investigators. I just spoke with investigators and we do have a name and a picture for the suspect. Let's take a look at the suspect right now. It's 20 year old Juan Carlos Mata. He's on your screen right now. Such the investigators are actively looking for this suspect in connection to the shooting death of his ex girlfriend. Now we just spoke with investigators as you mentioned Andy and I can tell you that they did tell me this happened around 11 p.m. last night. They say that they got the call from people in distress reporting a shooting had occurred in the their neighborhood. Once they got here, they found the twin, the 19 year old woman, the victim dead here on the scene. And that suspect Juan Carlos Mata had taken off, according to investigators. Now they said they got this information from the family who later they found out who actually made the call in distress after discovering their loved one had been shot to death here in their own neighborhood. So at this time, we're continuing to gather details right now. What we do know is that a 19 year old woman shot to death here in this apartment complex complex in Pasadena. Pasadena police asking for any information to look for this suspect and person of interest at time that they are naming as Juan Carlos Mata, who's 20 years old and the ex-boyfriend of the woman who was killed late last night. I'll send it back to you, Andy. All right, Sabira Rayford reporting live for us this morning from Pasadena. Thank you for that update. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.